Well, it's time for another tutorial, and in this video, we're going to explain the use of the product Faux2O. Now, this is a product designed for simulating ice and water and standing liquids and glass. Probably the biggest use of this product in our universe is for creating uh, broken glass. Now, this is different than breakaway glass, which typically uses a really brittle uh, resin or plastic. This is designed for the scenes like you might have might be familiar with. The one that usually comes to everyone's mind is the scene in Die Hard where he's walking barefoot over all the broken safety glass. So uh, things like that are best simulated with this kind of formula. This is what it looks like when it's cured. It's actually, this is a fresh piece, and this is actually going to get a little bit more brittle. But uh, when it initially comes out of the mold, it has a little bit of give, like a... Uh, a fairly soft silicone, but as it reaches its full cured state, it embrittles to a point where it can be easily broken. Um, now again, it doesn't shatter the way like breakaway glass does, but it is excellent for simulating broken glass on the ground or you know set dressing and that sort of thing. And uh, also for simulating liquid. So again, the, just to walk you through the basic use of the product, the two components are mixed one-to-one -one by weight or volume. And uh, these, this is a very simple system to use. And because the two components are so low viscosity, uh, no vacuum degassing is required for this. I, it definitely wouldn't hurt to do that. If you were so inclined, you could do that. But uh, because of that long open time, because of that uh, about 30 to 45 minute working time, the, uh, the demold time is roughly about six to eight hours. Now, the, an important distinction about that demold time, I prefer to demold this sooner rather than later because uh, at that six hour mark or so, it still has more of a quality of like a soft silicone. The longer it sits and completely cross-links, the more brittle it gets. And at that point, it's a little trickier to demold like uh, out of an ice tray. And just remember when you're casting like fake ice cubes and things like that, uh, because it is a rubber material, you can't just flex the ice tray and pop those out. Uh, I typically use like a blunt wooden tool to uh, pop those out of the ice tray. Now, the other thing you can do with this, because again, this is a, a platinum silicone system, so you wanna make sure you take all the precautions relative to that. So very safe to use, but also you wanna be careful not to contaminate it with uh, anything that's not compatible. So typically what I use when I'm creating breakaway shards of glass and things like that is I pour this into a polypropylene or a Lexan uh, container. You can find these at the dollar store. They're just typically, they don't even need release. Always do a test though, just to make sure they're not treated with something that causes the silic silicone to stick to them. But uh, I just mix up a batch and pour that right into a container like that or an ice tray. Now, one little thing you can do, because again, because this is a platinum silicone, you can use small amounts of our silicone pigment to color this and still maintain that transparency. Real important though, use very small amounts uh, to get that kind of glass color because uh, a lot of times when you see broken glass, if it's too clear, it looks like plastic. If it has a little bit of a green tint, you get that uh, kind of Coke bottle glass look or that look of uh, uh, tempered glass or safety glass. So it does help sometimes to add a little bit of that. Again, just depends on the kind of uh, color you're trying to match on set. And of course, great for simulating liquids. So this can easily be poured into a glass for something on set that needs to look like a, a standing liquid with ice in it. And uh, so it can be used to simulate all kinds of different liquids like that. Now, just remember though, it is a brittle silicone when it cures. So outside of a glass container, it's not gonna be practical to create a puddle or something like that. Now, last but not least, this is probably one of the more interesting things about this product. And this, again, is something very attractive for uh, art directors uh, on set because when you're simulating a glass of liquid and an actor is drinking out of a glass on set, one of the problems you run into with, with fake ice cubes that uh, are needed for uh, continuity is a fake ice cube is typically denser than water, so it, it sinks. So uh, the FO2O has a very low density, so it floats in water or other liquids like that. So uh, anything 
water or denser, it's going to float. So that's really helpful if you're simulating liquids or ice on set and you need ice cubes that will realistically float in the liquid but not look like chunks of plastic or glass. So there you have the basic use of the new Faux 2.0. Again, very low viscosity. That's one of the beautiful things about this. If you're working with this on set and say you're out on location and you're pouring this up, you don't have to have a vacuum chamber to pour this up and get excellent results. And you can do like I did and run to the dollar store and just get a, key, a cheap uh, plastic container or cheap ice trays to pour this up. So again, very simple to use and typically like this, I actually put this out when I was working on this video, I put uh, some of this out in the back of my car and this being summertime in Texas, it cured it in a really short time. So in about an hour, it was fully cured. And at that state, you get that really nice breakable kind of effect like that. And uh, we have some customers that will just pour up a big block of this, take a polypropylene bag, line a five gallon pail, pour up a big block of it. Once it cures, take it out, have their minions uh, break it up into little chunks and there you have broken glass. And that gives you that nice shiny uh, edge on all sides. So there you have the use of Faux 2.0. And again, just remember if you're using this in uh, commercially produced ice trays and things like that, always do a little test just to make sure that they're going to release okay. Ice trays are cheap enough, not that big of a deal, but uh, there are obviously silicone ice trays would be a bad idea with this. But uh, all of this that I did today, I did with no release agent, just in stuff from the dollar store. So very easy to use, low viscosity, doesn't have to be vacuum degassed. And the other nice thing about Faux 2.0, in addition to be, being uh, very low viscosity and easy to use, it's relatively inexpensive for a platinum silicone of this type. So I, as usual, I will put a link to the, uh, all of the products, uh, the silicone as well as the pigments in the video description. So be sure to check that out. And of course, a link to our video library, which uh, has our videos much better organized than we have on uh, the YouTubes. So thanks again for watching. And as is typical in the YouTube universe, please, if you haven't already, like and subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon so you get notified when we put out new content.